So you're thinking about pursuing a master's degree in computer science. Let's talk about some of the things you should definitely know before you get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video with me, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online computer science master's degree student. And on this channel, I share my experience with online learning, professional growth as a software developer. Today, I'm gonna cover the six important topics you should understand before getting a computer science master's degree. Please consider liking this video if you find the content helpful. Let's jump right in. First, let's talk about getting academically prepared. First, you're gonna to wanna to know if your resume is ready for an application into a computer science master's degree program. Each program will have different admission requirements, so you'll want to deep dive onto the individual programs you plan to apply to, but I have researched enough computer science programs to have a pretty good feel for what the minimum requirements typically are. If you already have a computer science undergraduate degree with a GPA above or around 3.0, you're in a very good shape. If you have a science, engineering, or mathematics undergraduate degree with a good GPA, you should be close to being prepared, but you could be missing previous coursework in object-oriented programming, data structures, and algorithms. If you come from a non-STEM background, but have years of experience as a developer or come from a technical field, you may have some additional academic gaps to cover, but you might also be able to lean on your professional experience to get your foot in the door. If you need to cover some coursework gaps in your resume, the easiest way to get accredited classwork at a lower cost is to explore courses available at your local community college. They will often have courses in programming, data structures and algorithms, and even linear algebra or other math requirements you may need. Okay, so let's talk about your personal life preparedness. Next, you're going to prepare your personal life, particularly your time and time management skills. A master's degree in CS or even the previously mentioned community college courses are gonna eat up anywhere from 10 to 25 hours of your time, depending on the difficulty and deliverables of the course and the number of courses you take each semester. If you have a full-time job or family, especially both, you're gonna to wanna to prepare by determining where your computer science coursework can slide in your time schedules so you can be successful. This likely means you'll need to sacrifice some leisure activities like Netflix or video games. If you can't find any free time for a master's degree in computer science, don't apply. Otherwise, you'll be kicking yourself later when you're stressing, trying to complete assignments at the last minute, or falling behind in lectures. It is also a good idea to let your friends and family know about your upcoming commitments to your CS learning and the time required so that they are more understanding when you are stretched for time over the next couple of years. You're going to understand if a master's degree is the right choice for you. There are three primary categories people fall into when considering an advanced degree like computer science. One, they're looking to add a credential to jump careers. Or two, they're looking to boost or accelerate their career trajectory. Or three, they just simply want to advance their skills or learn in a structured environment. For the people aspiring to jump careers, you'll need to determine if the skills you will learn in a master's program in computer science will get you a job in the field you're looking to move into. CS grads typically find jobs in technical roles such as software developer, architect, data scientist, or even machine learning or AI engineer. If these are the types of jobs you're looking to get, it's probably a good fit. But I do recommend that you talk with people in the role you want to jump into and see what their academic backgrounds are or straight up just ask them if they think a master's degree in computer science is valuable to breaking into the field. Next, if you're looking to turbocharge your career growth, in some cases, a master's degree can help you get there. This is pretty obvious, but talk with your manager about the idea of pursuing a master's degree in CS and see if they think it would help you move up your career track. Lastly, maybe you just wanna learn new techniques or skills that are offered in one of the master's degree programs you're looking at. There are plenty of opportunities to learn many of these techniques through other programs and platforms like YouTube, Pluralsight, Coursera, and Udacity, for example. But if you prefer working in a cohort of high caliber peers and have the structure of lectures and deadlines, then a master's degree in computer science is probably a good fit. Next, you wanna know what you wanna learn. This is a really simple point, but a very important one. You need to know what you're looking to learn in your master's degree studies. Not all programs offer the same course catalog and specialization tracks. Depending on what you want to study, some options will become better than others. For the most part, advanced computer science courses have focus areas in software engineering, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, and lastly, robotics. Next, you want to understand what learning options you have available. There are three categories computer science programs fall into, and these three options are MOOC style online programs, traditional online programs, and in-person programs. In-person programs will behave and feel like courses you took in an undergrad program. To me, the only reason why you would choose an in-person program these days are for two reasons. 
One, you have a target school in mind that only offers an in-person traditional master's degree. Or two, your learning style requires you to need to be in person. Other than that, the other two options are gonna be cheaper likely and have equal prestige for the most part. That then leaves you with two online options for a CS master's degree, the MOOC style or the traditional online style. The biggest differences between the two are the technology platforms the courses are offered on. The MOOC platforms will be mostly distributed on a service like Coursera or Udacity, while the traditional programs are gonna be self-contained within the university. Next, learn how to evaluate which programs fit you best. When I evaluate computer science mastery programs, I do on these five categories. First, we have prestige, ranking, and peers. How well ranked is the program and what type of talent does it bring in? Second, we have course catalog. Do the courses available mesh well with your learning goals? Third, we have platform. How is the course content delivered and does it work well with your learning style? Four, we have the regional appeal. Is this program well known and respected in your job market? And fifth, cost. Does the program present a good value for your money? After thinking through these six topics, you'll be well prepared for whichever route you choose to go for your master's in CS pursuits. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and like similar content in the future. See you in the next one.